God knows what he's doing, and I just thank God for his, his grace, his mercy, and his kindness. And I guess you're going to hear part two of Thursday night, so... But how long, I don't know. It's up to the Lord. I, mean, I just want to do His will. I don't want to preach anything of me because I'm, I fear Him too much because I know He can kill you. I know He can snip your lives out just like that if He wants to. He can do it. But that was the Lord was dealing with me how the, the world and the devil hates the Holy Ghost. He hates God, but He hates the Holy Ghost. And why he, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, or whatever you want to call it. I just call it the Holy One of God. Matthew, it's why the world, the devil said, I got to do something. I got to shut this down because they're getting too much. Something's going on and it ain't right. Then that morning when they, on Pentecost morning when the Holy Ghost fell, Upon all of those and stuff, the devil said, uh-oh, there's 120 of them look just like the one that beat me in hell. I got to do something. I got to get them out of this. I got to pollute the word, Nikki. I got to get it down. I got to get it where they don't believe it to the fullness. And, you know, I'm going to help with the grace of God. I've had to, you Eddie, down to I'm an old man. I've had many of times, and I thought, God, it's this way. But God said, no, it's this way. Amen. People, have a teachable spirit. Go to God with your problems or whatever. Don't form your opinion on this and say this is the way it is. It's got to be. No, it's the way God has intended it to be. Because this old boy, when he first come into this, you had to talk. You couldn't talk me out of it. I just flat believed it. A woman to be silent in church. But see, God got something through to this sick head. And I thank God I listened to him. When you say, why is it? It's all in the Holy Ghost. Hang on, people. A lot of things that God's in his word, man reads it and they takes man's interpretation of it. They don't get God's. But we, with the help and grace of God, I'm going to, my Jesus said some things. He said, and I think it's in John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come unto the Father but by me. Well, in John 6, 44, he says, no man can come to me except the Father which bid, has draw, has, well, has sent me Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last days. Then in the very same chapter, verse 65, Jesus says, And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. Amen. Now, Jesus said you can't get to the Father but through me. And you can't get to me except through the Father. What comes to you when God sends what to you? He sends that Holy Ghost conviction, is it not? Amen. To bring you the truth. Amen. And what did Jesus say the truth would do for you? And bless God, it did. And Jesus said that the Holy Ghost will, will guide you into all truth and show you things to come and comfort you. Yes. Amen. Now, I'm not coming against what I said. No, honey, you know, no, 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 you got to pray. I, I look at it like this. The Word of God says, my Jesus ever liveth to make intercession for me. And then God has sent the Holy Ghost that if I get into it and pray in it, it will build up my most holy faith and it will make a perfect prayer to God Almighty Amen. to get me directly to the throne room of God. Amen. Hey, something happened. God said, I want sons and daughters. God loves man so much that he wanted man to be his sons and daughters. 
Now, he got it. What my Jesus did made it where that we could be Amen. sons and daughters of the Most High God. Amen. Yeah, I've got a place to go here, Cindy, but I'm, 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 God's got me all over here. Hang on a minute. God is something else. He don't fail. He don't know what the word is. I can't. But what is man's big word? I can't. Thank you, Lord. I'm waiting on him too, people. Hang on. I've learned don't push him. You got to be led by him. Not him leading you. Not you leading him. But who the night, think on this. Thank you, Lord. The night that you or whoever, you didn't want nothing to do with God. But until God sent that conviction to, to touch your heart, to begin to show you where you're at and what you need. But see, he didn't force you. He just told you to let you feel it. And what my Jesus, this is what my Jesus did. He made one sacrifice and then went and sat down at the right hand of the Almighty God. Hang on, church. Steve, I just thank God for what he's doing and, you know, what happened tonight that you accepted Jesus? He changed everything, Steve. I mean, honey, we can't see it, but what, what God sees and what the devil sees, he sees a new creature. A new being. That just like Jesus. And I'm thinking on this. The Holy Ghost led me to the cross. And I'm fixing to read it in Romans 6 here. And the cross. And then when I accepted Jesus through the Holy Ghost, Amy. The Holy Spirit, however you want to say it led me to the cross of the sacrifice because of the sacrifice my Jesus made that led me to be a son and daughter of God. Amen. And that Holy Ghost conviction, without godly sorrow, there is no repentance. You can't repent unless there's godly, godly sorrow. That's the word of God. What have, well, I had godly sorrow in me. I couldn't figure what is going on here. How, this but the night I went down, the Holy Ghost came upon me. Amen. Get what I'm saying. Amen. And he came upon me, which he was leading me to it, but he came upon me, and through Christ's death, then the Holy Ghost resurrected me to life. Amen. And you know something, Steve? He gave me the power to become sons or daughters of God. Amen. He gave me. It's my choice. Amen. When that Holy Ghost came upon me, I received power. I had a choice then God said, here, son, you can be like me. Or you can be like a heathen. It's your choice. Amen. It's your, it's your, I give you this right. But God loved man so much Amen. that Jesus and him made a way that through the spirit of God, I can be resurrected from the dead. Amen. Romans 6, I hope I can get this over. Help me, Lord. Amen. 
Let's, let's just start verse 1. Now, listen to what, my, what Paul is saying. He had to go straighten Peter out. But this man knows what he, he, he Thank God for Paul. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer than dead to what? Now get this, knowing ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Amen. What happened to you the night you got born again? I died. I believe. You got baptized into Jesus Amen. by the Spirit of God. You got made just like Jesus. Amen. He came alive. Now listen. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into the death that like as Christ was risen from up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Amen. Not looking back, Amen. but not thinking, oh, woe is me. No, but thinking I'm a son of God and get out of the way. Me and Jesus is coming through. But I can't be a son. For if we have been planted, listen, listen, listen. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, Amen. we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. resurrection. Knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he, get there, for he that is dead is free from sin. Amen. He that, is dead. that means, bless God, born again. Amen. 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 Free from sin. Amen. But no, I can't believe that. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that he shall also live, live with us, with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he lived, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves... To be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. What's the matter, Matthew? I'm to be alive unto God. Hallelujah. I'm a living stone. I'm not, God's not dead, and I ain't dead. I'm not going to die ever again. Amen. Eddie, I may go to sleep for a while, but yet I'm coming up through the grace and the power of Almighty God. Cindy, it's time we get to where we need to be. Amen. Through this Holy Ghost, come the night and resurrected me from the dead and set me free. Yes. I'm free, Amy. Amen. Free from the law of sin and death. Yes. Hallelujah. Death had no more dominion over me Amen. because of not what I'll do or what I ever will do. But it's what if I believe, I got to believe. Amen. He did it. Thank God for that Holy Ghost. Thank God for the resurrection power. Amen. And you wonder why the devil had to throw that, get the world to get to hate that, that Holy Ghost, that tongue speaker, holy rolling, all of this. That convicting, that convicting power of God. That's where it comes from. From God. That's that Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, these old lungs about had it, Cindy. I noticed in the last month they just keep filling up. I can't. But I know my, my homecoming soon. I'm the day closer today than I was yesterday. But I'll get to meet my Redeemer face to face. To thank him, Eddie, for making a way that I can be a son of God. Now hang on to your hat. Woo, help me, Lord. Let me sit down a minute. <clears throat> I think it's in John 14. Somebody had that looked up. 
My Jesus said something. He said, these works I do, even greater shall you do, because I'm going to my Father. Because he was making a way, but something people miss. He couldn't operate as a son of God. He can only operate as a son of man. You got it. That's what he was saying. So I'm backing that up with the word of God. Amen. He did not operate as the son of God. That's why he knew, Amy, that you didn't have to be a like a son or a daughter. You can be the daughter of Almighty God. That you can operate just like God would be. Amen. That's why Jesus said it would not thought he's not robbery to be king we grow in God. But he made, under- made unto him no reputation. Oh. Amen, Amy, Jen. Amen. Amy, Jen, you got blessed. All my, I love them both. <laughs> but Eddie, we got something. We don't even know what we got. Amen. You're a son, a daughter of God, child. You're a daughter of God. Rise up and claim your inheritance. Amen. See, the devil's trying to steal it. This you hear, boy. Thank God. Drive them to redemption draw now. Amen. Amen. Church, you got something. Yes. When you say, I got Jesus. Yes, you got everything. I got everything. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope I get this over. Help me, Lord. Down through the years, I had to do some changes in my way of thinking. Couldn't, honey, you couldn't understand it. And see, that's what I love about my father. He only gives you what you can handle. He don't want to choke you to death with his word. And you learn through time. I'm going to say this. I told it to Amy, and I don't care whether y'all want to believe it. The first time I had COVID, sitting in my chair, can't hardly breathe. Devil was saying, ah, now, big boy, you've burnt that church by telling them they're all women preachers, sir. And the Lord over here saying, don't listen to anything that man he's telling you. Why was he telling me that? Because, see, when death comes, you want to make absolute sure your soul's ready to meet him. You all know what COVID was, sir. But see, I, I would stand and argue with you. Well, you'd be quiet in church. You ain't that, you know, no, no, no. But see, people got to realize something. God couldn't give all of this to Paul at one time. It would choke him to death. Amy can tell you, I can't remember, but there's so many of uh, the Bible that was written while he was in prison. Galatians or some of them. All those, honey. I'm trying to get to where you help me, Lord. My mind ain't as sharp as it used to be. It wants to wonder. God's got to wonder it back. But Steve, Paul said, there is neither Jew nor Greek nor bound nor free neither male nor female, but all are one in Christ Jesus. When God looks at you, he don't see a female. He sees a spirit that he's given through his his son. uh, To be his daughters or his sons, that's what he sees. Yeah, you know, I know, don't get me wrong. God knows whether you're male or female. He made you that way in the first place. But my point is, through the Spirit, generally, Amen. 
And bless God, Paul had there, I hope I can remember this, 40 or 42 Roman soldiers went red, red, ran now. They didn't walk. They wasn't drug. They ran to the chopping block with Paul. Now, he had some kind of witness to them, didn't he? He had Jesus. Who you got? Who you got? God and Jenny, and I'm not going to die anymore. Amen. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm trying to think of this scripture. God help me. Oh. That Holy Ghost, did he? Resurrected you from the dead. Amen. But see, it says it in John 1. I can't remember now the verse, but. He said he'd give unto us the power to become the sons of God. It's your choice. My Jesus made the way, but I got to believe Jesus. I got to believe Jesus. Now get this. The church, when Jesus was in here preaching, was not yet formed. He was making the way for it. I hope I get that the early church now didn't come into existence until the day of Pentecost. I'm going to blow your mind. Yeah, those people were being saved, but they had not been born again. They know that Jesus. There's a difference Knowing of Jesus, than knowing Jesus. Knowing him personally. Now, the day of Pentecost, well, wait a minute, back up. Thank you, Lord. Read in John chapter 20. Jesus is done resurrected. He's come up. He comes into the disciples and they all have skewed to death and he's telling them to be, be not afraid. Steve, he did something. And he said he took them and he breathed upon them and they received the Holy Ghost. But nowhere do I read that I hear of them speaking anywhere in tongues. Now, I'm not coming against not what I've said. No, you guys, it will come. But you've got to realize what God is doing here. He was birthing a church. Of a new creature, of a new ch- new beginning, of a ch- new creature and a church. The church of the living God. Not a dead one, but alive. Amen. Even then, when they, he breathed on them and he said, Receive the, and I believe they did, but they didn't to the point of the fullness because the way wasn't totally at time, the present for God until the day of Pentecost. Oh, help me, God. <laughs> but even Peter and them went fishing. They didn't get about it, did they? Jesus had to appear unto them again and get them back and tell, get all over Peter. Feed my sheep. Who is loud, love me? Feed my sheep. Feed my lambs. But something happened, Steve, when old Peter went up there and I fell that I'm going to say it. The new church began. The darkness scales fell off and they could see through the spirit, see through the eyes of God. Same thing that happens to us. What did Peter begin to do? And he said, he's talking about the prophet Joel. That he prophesied, how he prophesied in the last days. God will pour out of his spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall have dreams. Upon my servants and my handmaids will I pour out of my spirit. 
he see the who's giving that to him. The Holy Ghost. The born again experience. And they was endured with power from on high. Same thing happened to you, bless God. The night you accepted Jesus. Amen. He give you that choice. He give you that right. To either live for him or run from him. Amen. That's your choice. Amen. That was Peter's and them choices. Amen. Help me, Lord. Acts chapter 2. I'll try not to keep you too much longer. Acts chapter 2. See, in verse 16, what Peter's talking about. The God, he's talking about the Old Testament. He, he didn't know. And this is when all the things that Jesus told him would come back to his remembrance. God, would, the Holy Ghost would bring it back. Verse 37. Now, he, this is Peter preaching, boys. He laid it down to them here. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said to Peter and to the, to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the remission of sin that ye shall receive the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and to your children and to as many as the Lord our God shall call. Amen, Amen Jim. Amen. How do you think? How do you, God, go, go, Peter's going to baptize him in the name of Jesus? Peter's talking about the new birth. Baptize, what, did, what did they read to you about Paul was really saying? Baptized in who? You baptized into Jesus, honey, the night you accepted Jesus. And I can read it to you where it says, Bless God, and the Spirit of His Son was sent into your heart, and whereby you cry, Abba, Father. Where I didn't used to call God Father, I can now. Amen. Because of the, what, the sacrifice that was made. Help me, God. Amen. Well, I believe. I'm going to lay over here. Jen, you good. You remember your name. And maybe you can look at yourself. Uh, Philip was preaching in Samaria. A lot of them, it says, were being saved. Many of them believed. Put it that way. And the Holy Ghost had not failed on none of them. Then they sent Peter and John up there. And they prayed for them, and the Holy Ghost fell on them. Oh, help me, God. Now, Jim, that man's name, I can't remember it. Ever. Huh? All right, baby girl. See, he believed it, says he believed, didn't he? But then he thought, bless God. I will give you money for this. That to give it to me, that I can have that to pray for people. They receive the Holy Ghost. But here's my point, church. The only way you're going to get saved is through the Holy Ghost conviction. If it ain't there, you ain't going to get it. It's only when my Father gives that call you can come. Amen. You can believe all you want to. But if God ain't sent him, that Holy Ghost conviction, you ain't got it. Amen. Cindy, what does he say? Many have prophesied in my name. Many have cast out devils in my name. Done many for wonderful works in thy name. But he said, depart from me. I don't even know you. And in other words, Jesus said, many confess me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. That tells me, Cindy, the Spirit of God is not convicted. There is no godly sorrow. If there ain't no godly sorrow, you ain't repenting. Amen. You're not going to change. You won't change. You'll go, God, forgive me, and run right back and do it again. Amen. Amen. 
I hope it's didn't get that, but church, get ready. Amen. There's a wind coming. It was almost here tonight. What happened on the day of Pentecost? A mighty rushing wind. And don't be afraid Amen. when God wants to bless you. Amen. If he wants to kick your shoes off, let them fly. <laughs> I got to say this. This is going to help me, Lord. Steve, if I can't trust the Holy Ghost, which lives in me and abides in me, and I can't obey him, and I can't trust him, then you tell that, that I feel that I've seen him work through me, I've seen him do this, Cindy, then how can I say I trust God who I have not seen? Amen. Trust begins at home. Amen. Learning it, Jenny, going through the trials, the tribulations, going through the experiences. And do not form your opinion. This is the way it's got to be. And you won't refuse to change. God help me. I just, if God hadn't changed my heart, I don't know what I'd be doing here now. All these women preachers running around here. But see, why is that Holy Ghost fall? That's why. Because it comes with the truth, Eddie. It brings the truth. It brings the conviction of God, that godly sorrow. Without it, you ain't got it. But many people, and I say, you know them, I know them. They, they say they believe in Jesus. They go to church, but God knows what they do on the week. Amen. Some ain't right in the heart. Amen. Amen. I don't want you, Steve, I'm going to say this. Steve, you believed before you come to the Lord, you knew there was a Jesus. You, you believed that, you know. But see, it took God, the conviction power of God, and through chosen to work that work to prepare your heart to change it. Amen. It took God. Man can't do this. Only God can do these things. And I got to say this. God help me. I was a young Christian. Young minister. Up on Slave, Slave Mountain one night. This young man, Steve, at an altar, pouring his heart out of crying and begging God to forgive him. I get down and try to pray with him and talk to him. He said, he, ain't, he won't hear me. He won't talk to me. I said, Jesus, we are, honey. He loves you. He gives his best for you. No, he won't. No, he won't. said, I won't snoo him. And I backslid on God. I said, it don't matter. God still loves you. The boy gets up and quits and I never did see him again. What do you think that made me feel? In inefficient. Not knowing what to say, when to say it, or how to say it. But because of some minister probably told that little fella, you, if you backslide on God, you're done. I've heard it said that if you walk out on God, when you got the Holy Ghost, you'll never be able to come back. I've had that preached to me. Man's doctrine. Now God. But that little fellow's crying his eyes out. And I don't want to get in another situation like that again. I want to know what to say, when to say it, how to say it. Amen. <clears throat> That Holy Ghost is real. Amen. The whole Godhead is real. Amen. You can believe what you want to believe. I just want to know this. I know one thing it was. Once I did not know God, 
And once I come and accepted him, the blinders was lifted. I know, bless God, I got up that night, I'd walk on cloud nine, Steve. Who was I free? He has never changed. While you ain't free, while you're walking through the things you're walking through, you choose it. You choose it. You choose it. Amen. Not God. You choose it. Amen. You caused out your own walk. You want to push God away and say, God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yes, I can. God can through you. Amen. People get ready Amen. for that wind is coming. Amen. And that, bless God, when it hits, it's going to rack this world, sissy. Those that's been hid in the corner back here, God is fixing to bring them out on the main street. He's going to set some people free. Amen. You're already free, but see, you are what you believe you are. That little fella, he was what he was because that was what he believed. It wasn't what God said, but it was what he believed. You are. You are exactly what you believe you are. Amen. You can believe I'm free and you'll act like you're free. But if you don't believe you're free, woe is me. God don't love me. This has come. That has come. God Almighty Church, you ain't in Florida tonight. Amen. Your families are not dead and buried in some of the rubble. You've got a house to go to. With food on the table and this and that. A lot of those people ain't got it. Amen. And I ain't got this, I ain't got You got more than they got. Oh, help me, Father. I know how. I long winded sometimes. I'm trying to hush. God loves you. He done proved that. <laughs> He's trying to get you where you need to be that you can be a help to that lost soul out there. Because some of your family might be, be almost dead and you may need to say in the name of Jesus, rise and live. But if you ain't there, or you're whining and pouting at God because God didn't do this for you or he didn't do that for you. How will you stand there? If we can't stay, help me, Lord. If I can't run with the footman, how am I going to run with the horseman? And this day and hour is going to require it. This day and hour, you're going to have to have that personal relationship between you and God. You ain't going to be able to get on the phone and say, Jim, please pray. Please help me. I'm in this and I'm at. No, you're going to have to have that personal relationship. God, thank you, God. God is God. And what he's trying to get over to this church, something he's, he reminded me of. The Spirit of God said, I'm going to do a thing here whether you believe it or not. That means, bless God, it's getting done. And if you ain't in where you need to be, look out. The grace time is just about ready to run out. And you're going to have to have what you got in God. Because darkness is going to fill this land. The Spirit of God is going to be withdrawn. And you're going to have just only what you've got. And if, thing, if he tarries a little longer, God help us. Amen. But Eddie, I, I just thank God. I'm still here. Amen. For this day and hour. To get to watch and see. Since I got born again. I never dreamed that the marker that I was raised up in is like it is now. You couldn't have told me back then that it was going to be like it. But I shouldn't do it. That's what God said it was going to be. But I thank God, church. My homecoming ain't too far off, and I thank God whenever it is. You better get ready. It's coming. Whether you're ready or not. Oh, let me ask you a question. Now, I'm trying to hush, Cindy. I know. Obey God, 
Listen, what would you do right now if you hear the trumpet of God and the earth begin to quake under your feet and then you hear something like a mighty roar, thunders, and then, bless God, the ground really begins to quiver and shake. And then you run outside and you look to the eastern sky and you see them clouds split and part. And you see the Son of God standing on them clouds. What would you do? Would you rejoice or, oh, I'm in trouble? Because you'll know right then. You'll know right then, people. And I'll tell you this, when death gets hold of you, you'll know right then. Amen. You, know right then. you know right then whether it's right or wrong. Amen. You know what you got, you got, or you ain't got. That's right, honey. You'll just thank God and go on, or you'll grab at anything and everything around you, holding on to keep from going. And sometimes, Eddie, I know the Word of God says that Jesus said, that when Lazarus died, not, not in 11, John 11, but Lazarus in Luke 16, said when he died, he was carried by angels into the bosom of Abraham. And the rich man died and also was buried. But in hell lifted up his eye. He didn't go down there willingly. I believe there are some demons that out of hell come and grabbed him. And the reason I say that is an old man I used to know that I used to work for. Man, old man. But his nephew told me, get the, he said he was in the hospital with him when he died. Get these things off me. They're coming to get me. I don't want to go where they're going. But he couldn't do a thing about it. He was screaming. he was screaming to get them off, get them away. They was taken to a place he did not want to go. He did, honey. He was a millionaire. He had money running out. He had money all over. He didn't worry about money. But money, money, did my money, his million dollars didn't do him one bit of good. They still come and got him. Eddie, when death knocks at your door and you know it, you're going to know whether you're right or not. But you know the sad thing is sometimes it might be too late. Only God can do that choosing. It's only God that will speak in that moment in the twinkle of the mind and change anything and everything. Amen. But church, get ready. Amen. He's coming. Amen. Ready or not, he's coming. He's, coming. Amen. he's done fulfilled the old the, and the new. He is about to finish the rest of the book of Revelation. And when it's done, it's over. It's over for Satan too.